An iconic barn near Gallatin may soon be restored to its former glory. The Comer Barn is 80 years old, but Sumner County is trying to make it into a space for school age kids. And as News Channel 5's Kyle Horan shows us, it's a restoration that comes with a cost. You can see in this barn why Sumner County wants to preserve it. Take a look around the architecture in here. Whoever did this 80 years ago spent a lot of time putting this together. So this is the Comer Barn. It was built in the late 1930s. From the outside, you can tell this barn has seen better years. We're not planning to build a new historic barn. We're planning to use the space. A leaky roof, tall grass. It's even boarded up to keep people out. But the sandstone brick of Comer Barn, located on Nashville Pike in Sumner County, has a sort of appeal to it. It's historic. Maybe iconic is the better word. Um, you know, this barn sits at a pivotal intersection of our county. Um, and it, it's just this beautiful bit of green space with a barn that's unlike anything else. I would argue that it's been become part of our identity. Deanne DeWitt is possibly the barn's biggest supporter. Let's take a look inside. She's the president of the County Preservation Foundation. All right, watch your step. It's already got $250,000 from the state to fix the thing up. The construction and the stability of the structure is Great. exceptional given the what you see from the outside. On the inside, it looks almost modern in design. Most of these were the stalls for for the horses. But it's been empty for 20 years or more. I know, you can find a lot of really cool old things in here. The county is trying to restore it for use by the schools, but that can be expensive. The original plan was to pull all of the rafters and decking off of that and then replace the full roof. That approach was both costly and maybe a little bit risky. DeWitt says the original plan cost $500,000. She says that didn't sit well with some. So they've got a plan for spot repair that would cost something more like 300,000. The plan is to turn this into an ag and STEM learning center and it would provide an opportunity for uh, field trips and projects at all levels, um, K through 12, get students involved in the land, horticulture and gardening, soil research, it's just a beautiful piece of property. Kyle Horan. This is something we really need to be proud of. News Channel 5. Looks beautiful. DeWitt says they're holding a fall festival on October the 16th to try to raise some money for the project.